Hello students, I am Dr. Arpita De. The topic for today's discussion is photorespiration. Photorespiration, otherwise known as C2 or oxidative photosynthetic carbon cycle, is an energy wasting process that occurs in C3 plants at elevated temperature. Here, oxygenase activity of rubisco generates one molecule of PGA and one molecule of phosphoglycolate along with the loss of CO2 and ATP. This process involves three plant organelles, chloroplast, peroxisome and mitochondria. Before we start with the cycle, we will talk about the most important enzyme of this reaction. Rubisco is the most important enzyme of this reaction. The whole cascade of reaction commences with this enzyme. Rubisco is known to play a dual role. It can act as an oxygenase. It can also act as carboxylase. At elevated temperature, the affinity for oxygen increases in Rubisco. Rubisco, that means what? Rubisco will bind oxygen more comfortably at an elevated temperature. Now we will come to the cascade of reaction. In chloroplast, oxygen reacts with RUBP or albinose 1,5-bisphosphate to form phosphoglycolate and phosphoglycerate. This in, uh, reaction is mediated by rubisco. The phosphoglycolate that is formed is converted to glycolate by the enzyme phosphoglycolate phosphate. This glycolate thus formed in chloroplast travels to peroxisome where it is converted to glyoxylate by the enzyme glycolate oxidase. In this reaction, we see the formation of H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide. This hydrogen peroxide molecule is well known to cause harm to any living organism. Now this needs to be neutralized. Who will do this? The enzyme catalase found in peroxisome will neutralize H2O2 to water thus rendering it harmless. This glyoxalate now is converted to glycine by glutamate glyoxalate amino transferase enzyme. Now this glycine will go to mitochondria. This glycine will then get converted to serine by the enzyme glycine decarboxylase complex. In this reaction we see NH3 and CO2 are given out with the reduction of NAD to NADH. This is where the plant lose carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. This serine here formed in this reaction will go to peroxisome via amino acid translocator. The serine when reaches peroxisome will be converted to hydroxypyruvate. Now, who will do this? Hydroxypyruvate is formed by the reaction by the enzyme serine glycolate amino transferase. This hydroxypyruvate will in turn get converted to glycerate by hydroxypyruvate reductase with the formation of NAD from NADH plus H plus. This glycerate will also travel to chloroplast via glycerate glycolate translocator. Once this glycerate reaches chloroplast, it is converted to PGA or phosphoglycerate by glycerate kinase at the cost of ATP. So this is the reaction where ATP is lost. Okay. Now this PGA that is formed is used in Kelvin cycle. 
So this is the complete picture of the reaction. Now we call it necessary evil. Why is it necessary and again we are calling it an evil? The comment is paradoxical. We will justify this. We call it necessary because this process protects the plant from light induced damages. Okay. And it also helps in the maintenance of redox balance. Now why then it has been considered as evil? It has been considered as evil because energy wastage is seen in the form of ATP and loss of carbon in the form of CO2. Glycolate pathway recovers 75% of carbon and 25% of it is lost in the form of CO2. One more molecule of PGA is again recovered which can be used in C3 cycle but the carbon that is lost in the form of CO2 is not recovered. Therefore, there is a loss of approximately 25% of carbon content. That is why it is considered as evil. So, energy is being lost during the formation of uh, phosphoglyceric acid from glycerate and CO2 is lost when glycine was being converted to serine. That is why we call it a necessary evil and this is how we justify this statement that photorespiration is a necessary evil that operates in the plant body. So this is all about photorespiration. If you find this video useful, do share it with your friends and hit the bell icon to get updated about more uploads. Thank you so much for your kind attention.